hey, with you here today, I know we have lots of fun on the uh, frequently asked questions stuff, but uh, at Craig's Car Care, we also fix cars, right? So, um, but here's one that uh, we're seeing a whole lot of. This is a 2019 3.5 liter Ford F-150, and it's got that dreaded ticking noise going on in the motor with a check engine light. So uh, we see these regularly, and we do them regularly, and I thought, let's share kind of how we find these things. Uh, got Mr. Jason here up on the front. It's going to kind of go over this. This is our digital vehicle inspection here. And Jason, can you like play that video and kind of say, tell them sure what you're can. looking at? All right, so here's some of the data that was that came up in the testing. And this was, uh, the code was the uh, P0022 and it looks like a, a positioning, yep. It's a camshaft positioning timing over retarded bank two. And it could be any of the banks. Uh, this one is bank two. Um, and then there's just a lot of the data. Here is the ticking noise. Okay, so if you're getting these noises in your 3.5 liter Ford F-150, uh, this is probably, and it's coming from the engine area, it's probably going to be this time and chain stuff. And we'll take you outside here and, and show you the show you the, what's causing that noise. Uh, I, I think Jaime had also ran some other tests before he took things apart. These are part of the test where he's using his diagnostic equipment to back pin into the um, system to actually see what what's desired and what's actually happening and then some of this this is probably actually data right off the tool um and not off the pico scope but and this is just where we're showing things are full and uh, other noises and things like that so um so that's just kind of the stuff up on the front end here and uh there's a technical service bulletin also um i don't see it's not as a recall it's a technical service bulletin and it's talking about the uh, cold start ticking, tapping, or rattling type noise uh, for the vehicles built um, on or before October 31st, 2019. I don't know about after 2019, um, but that's what that's what these, this technical service bulletin is about. And it's out there. You can you can search it and it'll pop up there. If I get a chance, I'll try and stick it in here. Um, and that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go run outside here and pick up. From where we're leaving off okay we're back out here at this uh, 2019 3.5 liter uh, with the ticking noise the uh, and the data trouble code for the uh, timing cam correlation problems so right here with uh, mr jaime here and this is a uh, bank two and as an example so so the noise you're hearing is, is this what we're hearing, or are yep. we hearing something with a chain slap? In, internally in there. It's internally in here. So these are phasers. These are, are these look like the old styles. Are these yep. Okay, these are the old style phasers. The new ones are a little different. Um, do we have one in the box we can show them? Yeah. This is going to be a longer video here. And uh, we're trying to get you some better light. So uh, this is a twin turbo. There's one turbo there. And there's another one just like it on the other side. Oh, here you go. So this is the new phasers that we're going to replace it with. That spring that you see there is now encased in here. Um, so this is a new thing. So what's happening is inside this phaser, it's coming apart and it's literally blowing chunks of it out the front and it's pushing the spring assembly back off its seat here. So I think you can see all that. So that's the new style. We're going to replace all the phasers. You're doing chains and guides. Chains and, and guides. Chains and guides. Do you remember how many miles are on this? Over 100? Like, no, like 68,000. So 68,000 miles, guys. And it's not under warranty. So, ouch. Um, but this is what you're going to be running into if you're getting the cam codes, uh, correlation codes, and um, from your check engine light. And if you're getting the tapping noise, banging noise inside, this is where it's coming from. And, you know, he's, he's just getting started. And, you know, he's had to pull the fuel rails, the valve covers, um, the direct injection uh, components. There's the direct injection pump. 
right there and your lines and all the coils have to come out and you know, you know of course the intake and the intake on these if you've worked on uh, older versions these are actually part of the uh, valve cover when you take that off of there and then he's gonna have to take all the rest of it apart all the way down and these are your timing covers on the front so this is not a five minute job or even a two or three hour job it's a you know it's it's a it's a you know a good a good two-day job by the time you take it all apart put it all back together test drive it the good news is after this is replaced it's going to be fixed and it's going to be whole again and it's it's going to be ready to go um, and and what's even better is at least at least now there are some updated parts uh, where hopefully this won't happen again and this thing's going to have a nice 200,000 mile plus life in it anything else you want to add on these Jaime keep your oils changed keep your oils <laughs> changed that is a good one uh, you know we always recommend with synthetic every 5,000 miles I understand some co oil companies and some folks and some manufacturers are letting people go 10,000 7 to 10,000 miles I don't have an example today but uh, there's plenty of those out there that come in so sludged up that we won't even mess with this because the sludge is can get into these components and these tiny little holes and orifices and screens and it'll just destroy all brand new work especially after you disturb it so um, this motor is super clean inside I don't remember the intervals on this but it's 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 not being allowed to sludge up so not a how-to video I don't have the uh, the uh, storage capacity on my phone to to make repair videos and things uh, I know some of the guys here are starting to do that so you might watch out for that uh, but that this is just a show-and-tell let you know if you're hearing the noise you got the codes this is what's going on the rest of it is just we're just talking about things all right, thanks for watching, and good luck. Let us know if we can help you, uh, craigscarcare.com. Oh, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps. We appreciate it. Thank you.